you can actually swipe to start across this digital display. All right, guys, you gotta see this. Watch, first time ever, right here. Ready? Watch here. And... Boom! Look! First time ever on a Ferrari, a plug-in hybrid. Look! Isn't this insane? This is the brand new SF90 Stradale. to the channel guys it's super car blondie and i'm super excited about today it's awesome to have you with me make sure you subscribe because we have access to the coolest latest cars on this channel hit that button right now right this right here is so hard to get your hands on like they're very few and far between so a massive thank you to vip motors here in dubai who has one of these babies for sale right now. They brought it down for the Supercar Blondie family just so that we can check this out. Right, let me tell you why this is so special, you guys. This is the fastest, most powerful Ferrari ever made. Not only that, it is a fully functioning hybrid Ferrari. So for the very first time, you can drive a Ferrari in complete silence. Now you might be thinking, hang on a minute, what about the LaFerrari? That's super powerful, and that's also hybrid. The LaFerrari has about 950 horsepower. This has 985 horsepower, so it has more horsepower than the LaFerrari. Also, this car can function purely in electric drive mode. The LaFerrari is a hybrid, but it only really uses the hybrid capabilities to like complement the V12 engine, right? So. La Ferrari is about two and a half million dollars. This right here goes for just over half a million dollars. Now, because it's so difficult to get your hands on one of these babies right now, there is a little bit of a premium. So the guys at VIP Motors are selling this for $860,000, but it's because it also has the upgraded package that I'll talk to you guys about as we go around the car. Let's start at the back. I absolutely love how this badge kind of hangs over the top here and you've got this stallion head kind of floating at the back. That is really cool, I love that. Another major design change for Ferrari is with the taillights. You see, normally on a Ferrari, you've got round taillights. They've actually squared these ones off now, which is an interesting feature. They've done that actually to try and make the car look lower to the ground, so more aggressive. You've got this beautiful rear diffuser here in carbon fiber. I am a fan of the look and you've got your two exhaust pipes here kind of in the middle of the car which is quite nice this back as a whole if you really look at it from afar you could actually question if you didn't see the badge what car is this it does look very different design wise don't you guys agree so come around here we'll have a look at the front while we're at it another massive design change for Ferrari instead of having the headlights kind of in an L shape going up the side here that's what you normally see you've now got a C shape that folds around the front what do you guys think of that as a new kind of headlight feature I'm a fan I have to say I think it still looks Ferrari-esque but it looks updated and really cool so I'm a fan of that feature this up here look this is quite cool it's got like a little shark fin here this is for sensors. So we've got a whole new updated interior. Let me show you right now. Key, whole new key as well. You guys might have seen this on my other video with the Ferrari Roma. They also have this key now. So it's like a squared off key with the Ferrari logo on the front and then the leather back, which I really like. I think that's really cool. Now to open the car, you just push in here and that pops open and you've got fully exposed carbon fiber here on the door and you've also got door open buttons instead of a handle which is quite cool all right now i love when they think of this 
where do you put your key? Instead of it just floating around somewhere here in the cabin, they've got a very nice holder right here. So you just slot that in like that. Boom, you know where your key is. And it kind of almost, it folds in so beautifully that it looks like it's part of the car. You wouldn't even know that was a key. And I really like that. The cool other thing is, well, there are so many cool things. <laughs> just count how many times I say, and this is cool, just count and just pop it in the comment section because I'm gonna keep saying it and keep saying it because there are so many updates on this car. Down here, what you have is something that looks like an old gear lever gate. In the old supercars, this is how you would change gears. You'd pop your gears up into these gates like this. But this car is actually an eight-speed automatic. So what they've done is they've made it look like an old school Ferrari, but they've actually updated it. So it's now kind of a digital display. I'll show you that in just a second. Over here, let's start her up because I love this as well. You've no longer got an engine start stop button. Some of you will actually be pining for that start stop button. I know my husband, Nick, when he saw it gone first, he's like, no, it was a red start stop button. It was so cool. For me, I love this update. I think this is epic. You no longer have to press it. Look at this. You can actually swipe to start across this digital display. And the engine goes on. How cool is that? I know some people are a fan of digital displays, some others aren't, but what I love about what they've done is they've actually brought Ferrari in to the modern day it looks super super modern everything is digital every the screen is massive i am a massive fan of what they have done here perhaps they could have done just a few normal dials for like fan speed and stuff because it, it becomes easier when they're just normal dials but i just really like that they've, they've kind of taken ferrari into the future all right we want to hear what it sounds like right because this is the first ever plug-in hybrid it's a four liter twin turbo v8 so what does the most powerful Ferrari sound like? Take a listen. It doesn't sound like a La Ferrari. It's like ripping off a thousand band-aids. A La Ferrari is a naturally aspirated V12, okay? So this sounds very different, but the point is, is that this is more powerful. Check this out. You just push this down to get it into manual and you see this cool little red line go up. So it's all digital now. Look at this display here. I love this. It just shows you the Ferrari from all angles. This is a 16 inch display and this display and this whole interior is now gonna be carried forward into all future Ferraris, which is quite cool. There are two versions of the SF90, the SF90 Stradale, or you can get this more sports oriented SF90, and that's the SF90 Assetto Fiorano. And basically that includes a lot more carbon fiber. It actually makes the car 21 kilograms lighter. And you can often spot whether it is the Assetto Fiorano if it's got a fully carbon fiber wing although you can get that optional with the Strale but that's just one way you can kind of spot it let's uh, take it for a spin shall we now this car is so new and it's not actually registered for the road so I've taken it into a private area so I can just give it a little bit of a drive just so I can see what it feels like let me just point out a few things before we go this right here you see this panel everything is dark until you need it so you press this, this is where you change the modes. It's currently in hybrid with that H. All of these modes now appear. So you've got E-Drive, you can press this. Or you've got race mode. Zero to 100 in this car in 2.5 seconds. What? <laughs> that is absolutely insanely fast, you guys. Absolutely insanely fast. The fastest Ferrari ever made, which is just ridiculous. The quickest, the everything, the most technically advanced. So the LaFerrari is limited to 499 pieces. This one, not limited at all. So that's why it's going for a lot less. Please. 
Can you better explain your request? I don't know what the deal is with this guy, but he keeps interrupting me. I think whenever I say Ferrari, it goes on. Let me see. Ferrari, e what is happening? Subscribe to Supercar Blondie. Ferrari! Subscribe now. Now, SF90, what does that name even mean? Why the 90? Why the SF? SF actually stands for Scuderia Ferrari and 90 because they're celebrating the 90th anniversary of Scuderia Ferrari, which is their racing division of Ferrari. Now, just very briefly about the engine, you guys. So you have the twin turbo V8 here, but you also have the three electric motors. You've got one here in the back, and two here in the front. So the V8 produces about 770 horsepower and the electric motors produce just under 220 horsepower. So in all, this car right here has 985 horsepower. Isn't that insane? A massive thank you again to VIP Motors for bringing us this car today for the Supercar Blondie family. Make sure you guys subscribe and put on your notifications so you're the first to see these awesome cars. Right guys, we're out, love you. Bye.